So I was on Reddit and I seen someone ask the difference between pro mode and starter mode for character animator. Now I've never played in starter mode, so I thought this was a great opportunity to get a reaction to uh, someone who's been using pro mode since 2018, uh, which is currently July 2024, so it's been a minute. Um, and let me, let's see a reaction to what starter mode is. So right away, uh, I, I've booted up into starter mode. Um, they give us a lot of options for puppets we can use. We got like a mud monster and a robot. A lot of interesting things. But we can also import a puppet. So let's import one that I've created. And let's see how a pro puppet works in starter mode. Okay, so right away I can see a lot of major differences. Um, we don't have any parameters. The timeline's stripped down. There's nothing on the left at all. Uh, it's really, really bare. We have import recorded speech or record face and voice. In this video, we're going to go over record face and voice. Um, let's see what happens. Hey, I really love to record content on YouTube. It's pretty much my favorite thing to do. Okay. Wow. Way different. So... Looking at this, we have a recorded voice. Hey, I really love to record content on YouTube. It's pretty much my favorite thing to do. Okay, let me watch that again. Much my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing. He's not really saying the word thing there. He's saying e. Uh, so right away, I can tell the lip sync is off, and that that bugs me because there's no way to fix it that I can see. Um, which means to get the lip sync perfect, you'd probably almost have to enunciate the words and then your acting is not going to be what you want it to be. So that's a, that's kind of a problem. I mean, it, it does a good job getting content on YouTube. It's pretty much my favorite. It does record content on YouTube. It's That looked really good. Content on YouTube looks really good. But when I get down to the my favorite thing to do, he doesn't really say it too well. Uh, going over, these would be my hotkeys in Character Animator. Uh, all the different actions my pro puppet that I built uses. Um... Okay, so we can drag and drop to turn on the hand and extend how long that hand shows up. The trigger. Does that overlap right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so the triggers will overlap decently, like I have the up <laughs> arm with the point, but this puppet's rigged. Yeah, this puppet's rigged to use draggers in the hands, which I don't know if that's the draggers in his hands that's making him draggable across the screen. Um, also, how would I, if I wanted him to walk, make him walk across the screen? Is there... We can't record a one-frame take. Um, pretty much all the options are off. So it looks like you can position your puppet, but as far as animation goes, you would need a library of triggerable animations to swap between programmed into your puppet. So like you can see here, <laughs> this arm is just a separate image from this arm. That's not it moving up, that's swapping to an entirely different arm in my layers. Uh, here, let's jump over into pro mode and I'll show you the differences. Okay, so right away you can see everything's different. We have our project panel on the left. This has like our recordings. Um, this will have all of our puppets, all of our background art. Everything that is related to our project will be down right here. And then this is our timeline. So like if we wanted our puppet in our timeline, we can drag it down here and drop it in our timeline like that. And bam, now we have two puppets in this timeline. I don't see, in starter mode, you could probably get a second puppet in your timeline. Oh, wow. Just completely delete all my content like that. Let's see, uh, stay in pro, now I'm in pro mode. And it completely removed all the content. Wow, okay, so let's, uh... huh, okay. Um, import, let's switch over to starter mode. Import a puppet, go again. So you can see right away the main difference. If we record this guy doing like a little blah, 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 can we import a second puppet? No. So you're limited to one puppet in one scene 
with no object. So like if you wanted a coffee cup for him to pick up a coffee cup, you would have to have the coffee cup already in this background, which you can change here. You can upload your own background. And then you would also have to, you can't swap the background out. So if he wanted to then pick up that coffee cup, like say you recorded a pre-recorded animation of him reaching down and grabbing a coffee cup, the coffee cup wouldn't be able to disappear from this spot. So it's not really an all-in-one animation studio. You would almost have to have a transparent background, which can you, let me record something real quick. We love to explore the woods with each other. Yay, we're friends. Okay, so random recording, can we, we can't do anything. I was gonna look and see if we could export. We can't even export with media encoder. You have to quick export, which quick export was causing me some problems the other day. I quick exported in high quality, a proof to send to a client and it wasn't, it only exported like every sixth frame or something like that. Um, so I never trust quick export. Maybe it works better in starter mode. Um, so we're going to jump over into pro mode and see the differences here. Going over pro mode a little more. We can come in and edit our lip sync. You see all these green boxes down here? Oh, there you go. We're friends. So we're like, we're here. We have friends. We can change it to friends. Which actually, like, friends. Oh. And then there's no S. So we can hold alt and cut into this and make that an S. Friends. And now he says friends with an S at the end. Um, you see, we have our triggers over here. Those still work the same, but we can time, we can come into, oh, I'm in record mode. Let's go into mine. This, mine always, uh, this is my setup, my layout. It'll look a little different from yours. Um, yeah, see, we have properties that we can edit. So we can like come in here and transform position X and then I'll jump into our timeline, the position X right here, that's what that blue diamond is. And if we come over here and change our position X, that's how we can make them walk, like that. And we would put in uh, a walking animation, which this character is not rigged to walk, but we would put in a walking animation. We would have the walking animation active. We would record, press the walking arrow. The character would start to walk in place, and then we would use the transform to make a move. That's not in starter mode at all. None of that is in starter mode. So it's really a stripped down version to get your, I wouldn't even say get your feet wet, get your toes wet. In starter mode, there's just so little in there. And it really, I guess it's to figure out if this software is good for you or not, because it is definitely its own thing. It's very unique uh, in, in how it accomplishes what it does. Uh, let's jump back into starter mode here. Let's try one of the pre-existing puppets. Okay, still not seeing any triggers. Let's record uh, face and voice. I like to explore in the park. It's really fun. The other day I found a quarter and oh my word, it was actually a nickel. Okay, so you know, really exciting story. Um, see, yeah, her, all of these are motions. They're a library of pre-recorded motions that she goes between. So you would have to build for that. You would have to specifically build your puppet to work in starter mode or else it won't work at all. Like to go hire a puppet on Fiverr to then bring into starter mode, is, you're going to get scammed because a lot of them aren't going to include a library of pre-recorded motions because a lot of them build in pro mode and have been building in pro mode for a long time. And in pro mode, you get dragger handles, which you're not going to see with this character. Um, but in, in pro mode with a lot of people that build custom puppets, they're going to build with draggers. They're not going to build with a library of pre-recorded motions. Uh, so be sure if you're using starter mode to let your builder know you need a library of pre-recorded motions set as triggers inside a swap set. Uh, yeah, that's probably the most important note I have to give for starter mode. If you like starter mode, if you're having fun in starter mode and you're looking to make the jump into pro mode, I do recommend it. It is almost an entirely different program in pro mode. You get a lot more freedom of control of where your character is, what they're doing, how they're doing it, when they're doing it. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it helps you elevate your content to the next level and be sure to comment in the comments section, the content that you've created. I'd love to explore and see what you've done. Thanks for watching guys.